Good morning, friends. Today we will begin with our phylum paper, that is paper three. Uh, in this paper, you have to study lot many numbers of organism, just like that of last semester's microorganism paper. But here, as such, there are small phylums, not a lengthy one. So we will go one by one. We will start with the smallest unit, that is unit four. Uh, which is nothing but microbial diversity. This unit consists of six phylums. Out of that, the important one, that is the first one, is Cytophaga. So, I am preparing phylum-wise video so that you can uh, hear that as whenever you will get the time and a very small 10 minutes or 15 minutes video I will prepare, not a complete lengthy videos because as far as this unit is or as far as this paper is concerned it itself is somewhat boring we can say but as it is a part of our syllabus we have to do it so no other option is there so we will begin with our first phylum that is cytophaga the phylum cytophaga is a group of organisms and uh, basically they are gram negative bacteria belonging to terrestrial or aquatic habitat this phylum cytophaga consists of four different genera. One and the foremost is cytophaga itself. Second one is flexibacter. The third one is rhodothermus. And the fourth one is salinibacter. HR mune complete phylum banto beta cytophaga. Having cytophaga, uh, flexibacter, rhodothermus and salinibacter. All these four are long, slender, gram-negative rods and often containing pointed ends, the look at the diagram, and they can move by gliding motility. Out of that four, first important was cytophaga. Cytophaga digest polysaccharides such as cellulose, agar, and chitin. Because of such type of digestion, these bacteria are also called as agrolytic cytophaga because all agricultural compounds consist of cellulose as well as chitin. So if you want to isolate these bacteria from the soil, so what you have to do is take a petri dish. Over that petri dish, you have to prepare a minimal salt agar and that minimal salt agar you have to pour in the petri plate. Kya minimal salt agar cha varti tumhala round shape madhe cut ke lela filter paper thewa isa hai. Over that minimal salt agar and over that uh, filter paper you have to pour or sprinkle the soil from which you have to isolate cytophagas and incubate that plate. 24 hours later what you will get filter paper cha madha tumhala holes zhale le distil. That holes or degradation represents the soil consists of cellulose degrading organism that is cytophaga. To confirm whether that organism is cytophaga or not, we can do further confirmatory test. So in this paragraph, the same is written. The cellulose decomposers can easily be isolated by placing small crumbs, chote chote, fine tukre kima soil sa burka manushakta of the soil on the pieces of cellulose filter paper laid on the surface of mineral salt agar. Bacteria attach to and digest the cellulose fiber forming the spreading colonies. Next, this is the picture of cellulose degrading organism which is paper la decompose. Now, in pure culture, cytophaga can be grow on. Suppose if you have pure culture, you grow on the same thing. You use karu shakta, but that should be embedded with the cellulose fiber because cellulose is the prime requirement for the growth of that cytophaga. Then cytophaga and sporocytophaga are obligate aerobic organism. Matlab, iske growth ke liye oxygen is the mandatory situation. So it is also called as oxygenic environment is needed for the growth of this organism. Two different species of cytophaga exist in nature. That is cytophaga columnaris and cytophaga psychrophila. Cytophaga columnaris is responsible for the disease called as columnaris. It is a disease which affects fishes, aquatic life infection. Karta the. And his second is Cytophaga psychrophila, which is responsible for cold water disease. Psychrophila, but a psychro word is coming from low temperature. 
on the basis of temperature there are three types of organism mesophile psychrophiles and thermophiles so psychrophiles are low temperature tolerating organisms so basically it infects fishes which lives in the marine or the oceanic environment so where actually it affects so now we will see uh, its diagnosis its uh, symptoms and treatment before that these are the some glimpses of cellulose degrading cytophagas and if you see through phase contrast microscope you can see rod shaped cell vegetative cell and if in the dormant conditions these organism can form cyst or the spherical spore like structure under unfavorable conditions now we will focus on cytophaga columnaris in detail basically this bacteria is called as flavobacterium columnari initially it belonged to flexibacter species but now it is under the heading cytophaga columnaris basically it is gram negative organism rod shaped bacteria having the genus flavobacterium the name derives from the way in which the organism grows ye spherical form mein ya to colonies jo rehti hai uh, it appears rods or thread like appearance or root like appearance it will show hence the word is called as rhizoid flexibacter or flavobacterium columnari can be identified on the basis of five different confirmatory test the out of that the first one is if in the media you can take neomycin and polymyxin b antibiotic in presence of these two antibiotic rest of the bacteria will kill but the growth of cytophaga will be flourish in presence of these two antibiotics so if in the media you are taking neomycin and polymyxin b and if there you will get the growth that represent the cytophaga is present second one is uh, yellow color pigmented rhizoid will appear over the media that represents the cytophaga is present rhizoids are the mi sangitla hota root like appearance third one is it is gelatinous positive gelatin la degrade karayachi ability asnara enzyme ya bacteria madhe present asto if you stain it with the congo red dye then it will appear red in color that is again one of the confirmatory test and the fifth one is chondroitin sulfate degrading enzyme is produced by cytophaga columnaris so these are the five different confirmatory test for the isolation and identification of cytophaga columnaris the basic disease caused by this bacteria is columnaris so now we will uh, focus on this disease what actually it causes what are the symptoms and what are the treatment the basic host for this organism is fish columnaris is a disease commonly called as cotton mouth is the symptom of the disease in fishes which results from infection caused by gram negative aerobic rod shaped bacterium called as flavobacterium columnari और साइटोफेगा कॉलिमनारिस दोनों नाम एक ही है द बैक्टीरिया यूजुअली एंटर हाउ इट कॉज द डिसीज हाउ इट एंटर्स इन टू द बॉडी ऑफ द फिश दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी द बैक्टीरिया यूजुअली एंटर द फिश थ्रू गिल्स जितना ते ऑक्सीजन घेता पाण्यामधन त्या ऑर्गनच्या थ्रू एंटर होऊ शकता दैट इज गिल्स और माउथ और फ्रॉम स्मॉल वुंड्स and are prevalent where the bio load exists and where the conditions may be stressful jithe jaste stressful condition overcrowding jithe ahe fishes ta asha tikane kiwa low dissolved oxygen jithe jithe fish chi immune system kami zali ahe asha tikani he bacteria fatafat infection cause karu shakta bacteria can persist in the water for up to 32 days now what the type of symptoms fish will show infection will usually first manifest in the fish by causing frayed or ragged fins tanche je kai fins kima gills sasat beta te rough hun jata this is followed by appearance of ulceration tacha vati small fold yayla shuruvat hote on the skin and halu halu te epidermal loss mhanje skin chi जी लेयर आहे ती हळूहळू वॅनिश व्हायला सुरुवात होते आणि दॅट रिझल्ट इन टू नेक्रॉसिस नेक्रॉसिस मतलब सेल लायसिस म्युकस ऑफन ऑल्सो अक्युमुलेट इन द गिल्स गिल्स जर ब्लॉक झाले तर बॅक तर फिशेस ऑक्सिजन घेऊ शकणार नाही पाण्यामधन सो दॅट दे कॅन नॉट प्रिपेअर देअर ओन फूड दे कॅन नॉट सर्वाईव्ह अँड दॅट रिझल्ट इन टू अनरॉक्सिया म्हणजे लॉस ऑफ एपेटाईट त्यांना लिथार्जी येईल त्यांच्यामध्ये स्टॅमिना नाही राहणार आणि दॅट रिझल्ट इन टू मोर्टॅलिटीज इन द यंग फिशेस 
then how you can diagnose simple you can isolate that organism either from gills skin or from the kidneys of the infected fishes then you can spread it over the nutrient agar consisting of minimal salt media over that you will get a rhizoid like appearance pale yellow color che threads zar milale that confirms the cytophaga infection then if you want to treat that fish so as cytophaga is a gram negative organism so you can use narrow spectrum antibiotic like furan 2 and canamycin can be administered together to treat that fish or secondly you can place that infected fish into a uh, fish bath fish bath means in that water you have to take some antiseptics or antibiotic solution preferably methylene blue जे ग्राम निगेटिव बैक्टेरिया किल करतो, देन पोटैशियम परमैग्नेट आणि सॉल्ट टाकून ते पानी बनवाये इन्फेक्टेड फिश लिप कर सो दैट बॉडी वरती जे का साइटोफेगा डिस्ट्रॉय होते जनरली अक्वेरियम मध्य अपन जे फिशेस टेम्परेचर लो ठेवायचं इज निअर अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर रूम टेम्परेचर ठेवायचं बिकॉज दिस बॅक्टेरिया आर मोर व्हायरुलंट ॲट हाय टेम्परेचर एस्पेशली एटी फायव्ह टू नाईन्टी डिग्री फॅरनाईट नाव इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फेड द फिशेस द फिशचं फूड तुम्ही बघितलं असेल बट आ स्मॉल दाण्यांसारखं साबुदाण्यासारखं असतं ते तर त्या फूडला आपण कोटिंग जर केलं ऑक्सिटेट्रासायक्लिननी सो दॅट इज ऑल्सो इफेक्टिव्ह टू किल द इंटेस्टिनल बॅक्टेरिया दॅट इज सायटोफेगा पोटॅशियम परमॅग्नेट कॉपर सल्फेट अँड हायड्रोजन परऑक्साईड कॅन ऑल्सो बी अप्लाईड एक्सटर्नली टू द अडल्ट फिश बट कॅन बी टॉक्सिक ॲट हाय कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन इन द प्रोसेस Uh, the vaccines can also be tried to save the fishes or to re, uh, reduce the outbreak of this columnaris infection this is about cytophaga the first genera of this phylum cytophaga the second one is flexibacter it is a very small and it is different from that of cytophaga cytophaga is purely oxygenic bacteria and cellulose degrading organism on the contrary flexibacter differs from cytophagas in that they usually require complex media sadhya media varti he grow nahi karnar for good growth and are non cellulolytic this is important cells of some flexibacter species also undergo changes in the cell morphology like long thread like filaments as that but they are non motile cytophagas were motile one many species are pigmented due to carotenoids located in the cytoplasmic membrane or related pigment called flexirubin the bilirubin aplya body madhe asta tase tancha body madhe ahe beta flexirubins flexibacter species are common in soil and fresh water saprophytes saprophytes matlab wo dead and decaying organic matter pe grow karte hain and none have been identified as pathogen matlab wo fish ya to koi bhi aquatic life or other bacteria or other human beings ko infection cause nahi karte hain kon flexibacter the next one is rhodothermus rhodothermus and salinibacter ko ek group mein club kiya hai and they are distinct from that of cytophaga Rhodothermus and Salinibacter are gram negative red or yellow pigmented obligatory aerobic chemo organotrophic bacteria baka beta cytophaga pan uh, oxygenic hota uh, madla jo hota flexibacter that was non oxygenic and again rhodothermus and salinibacter both are obligatory aerobic chemo organotrophic manje te apli energy getat from oxidation of organic compounds Rhodothermus is thermophilic have uh, optimum temperature tolerate karta 60 degree celsius they best grow on sugar and on simple or complex polysaccharide not preferably cellulose but any type of polysaccharide can be utilized by this organism basically they live in a hot spring area rhodothermus produces heat stable hydrolytic enzyme because they grow at a very high temperature and that high temperature the enzymes cannot survive because enzymes are protein in nature that gets denatured so under that situation this rhodothermus itself produce heat stable enzyme so that in high temperature also those enzyme can survive those enzyme for example amylase जे स्टार्सला डिग्रेड करतील सेल्युलेज जे सेल्युलोजला डिग्रेड करतील 
आणि झायलानीज जे डिग्रेड करतील हेमिसेल्युलोज अँड अदर प्लांट पॉलिसॅकॅरिट्स रोडोथर्मस मॅरिनस इज अ स्पीशीज अँड सॅलिनिबॅक्टर र्युबर इज द स्पीशीज ऑफ सॅलिनिबॅक्टर सो वी विल थ्रो सम लाईट ऑन सॅलिनिबॅक्टर र्युबर ऑल्सो शॉर्ट मध्ये बघूया बेटा सॅलिनी बॅक्टर इज अ जीनस ऑफ एक्स्ट्रीमली हॅलोफिलिक रेड बॅक्टेरिया हॅलोफिलिक म्हणजे जे जास्ती सॉल्ट कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन टॉलरेट करतात पर हॅप्स द मोस्ट सॉल्ट टॉलरंट बॅक्टेरिया एक्झिस्ट इन नेचर देन दे ऑब्झर्व इन क्रिस्टलायझेशन पॉइंट अँड हायली सलाईन एन्व्हायरमेंट त्यांचं नावच सांगतंय की ते सॉल्ट टॉलरंट आहे अदर हॅलो बॅक्टेरिया सोबत ते अजून काही फीचर्स कॉमन आहे दॅट मीन्स दे यूज पोटॅशियम आयन ऍज अ कॉम्पॅटेबल सोल्यूट जिथे पोटॅशियम आयनचं कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन जास्ती असेल त्या कंडिशनमध्ये ते बॅक्टेरिया जास्ती इझिली ग्रो करू शकतात अँड इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू अदर हायड्रोलिटिक रोडोथर्मस सॅलिनी बॅक्टर ग्रोज बेस्ट विथ अमिनो ऍसिड ऍज इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रान्सपोर्ट चेन मध्ये ते दुसरे कार्बोहायड्रेट्स न युज करता कोणाला युज करतात बेटा अमिनो ऍसिडला युज करतात फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ ए टी पी अँड प्रोटॉन ट्रान्सलोकेशन सो दिस इज अबाउट सायटोफेगा जन फायलम विच इन्क्लूड सायटोफेगा फ्लेक्झी बॅक्टर रोडोथर्मस अँड सॅलिनी बॅक्टर इन नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ वी विल टॉक अबाउट नेक्स्ट फायलम दॅट इज ग्रीन सल्फर बॅक्टेरिया